Good morning, everybody. This is Kanish. So today we try to discuss about uh, uh, introduction of the class today. So what we discussed in the morning session. Okay. So uh, first of all, I try to share my screen. Okay. Uh, I hope all of the members are able to see the screen now. So first of all, try to open the click the mouse right right button new folder then you can click the microsoft excel sheet like this okay here uh, you can give the name rename for example mba mba practice mba practice 2 okay for example if i'm giving like this and click the open button then in this type of it will be open so now so here you see uh i think you are you are able to see different types of menu buttons here home button insert and another thing here uh, uh, page layout formulas data review view okay so for example here this is the change for font data type for example maybe here we are type like this so then we can change the different types of fonts and we can change the size also okay 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 uh, now we try to uh, do one thing so in the morning session we are doing something so that is uh, uh, just we are consider some of the students okay on that students here we are calculating calculating the students percentages am right so here we are consider the two things so first of all uh, here we are consider just again we try to do that okay then you, you are you are not having the confusion okay first of all here i'm consider uh, for example maybe student number okay and student name and subject one subject two and subject three and subject four and subject five and subject six so in this type of a here i'm consider some of the students like this okay here i try to press only one and two now i try to select these two if you are observe here some plus button is there so if you drag like this we can drag up to our required number of numbers okay here i'm giving a a b b c c okay sorry c c d d e e f f g g h h i i J, J, am right okay in this type of way here i'm giving some numbers 56 67 77 88 okay 34 45 like this okay here also i'm giving some 57 68 78 89 35 and 46 now i try to select these two and expanding the box now i try to selecting these two and selecting this one and try to select these columns these rows and expanding like this okay so this is the one of the best application to performing the calculations easily okay so this is the one of the best type of application so here i'm just drawing this like this okay so now up to now here we are consider so some 10 10 numbers of the students and i'm i assume some of the marks for these students okay for example i'm selecting like this and you can go bottom border so in this one all borders so if you're giving like this okay if you want to increase this size so then you can change the font here okay so now I try to give the total. So how we are performing the total? So we are having the one option is so equal to okay. So simply open the braces and you can click the every cell. So when you click the uh, mouse here, so here you appear E3. So that means E column and third row. Okay, plus okay F3 plus okay G3 plus okay h3 plus and subject 6 i3 so uh, i can 
total the marks of the students like this and right so this is the not the best way why because if you want to plus so many columns so uh, at the time of the situation how we can add them so by using some formula is the best so before using any formula you use the equal to remember this so sum okay sum from where d3 colon okay d3 colon up to i3 okay so if you are using this formula like this then it will be performing the sum operation from d3 e3 f3 g3 h3 i3 okay so then it will be uh, appear the count like this then you can drag like this okay so now i try to change this column next average average okay so how you can perform the average so equal to okay uh, use use this cell so what is this cell j3 so that means j column third row okay by six so then you are able to view the average of the student right but if you are observe here so this is very less font so better you try to select like this and you can use the same uh, same uh, same uh, size and next one you can select the table is also like this you can simply place this all borders okay so but here we are not uh, consider the round one so so that's why uh, perfect average so how we are perfect doing the perfect average so here equal to by using round function okay equal to round of when we are using the round function like this then you are able to round number number of the digits so which one is round here so k so what is the value k3 k3 comma zero so what is the meaning of k3 so k column and third one third row okay if i'm doing like this 61.16 months 61 so 60 is uh, sorry here all these are one six so there is no need to round actually okay so uh, i want to change okay now i try to find out the grade okay grade of the student so for example if i am assume like this if average greater than or equal to 70 then appears the grade is o otherwise the average uh, less than or equal to 70 so then appears so maybe the grade is a so if, if it is my condition okay so then how i can write the formula by using if when we are using if equal to if then we are appear the screen is like this logical test and value if true and value if false so that means if the logical test is success or correct then the first option will be executed so otherwise next one will be preferred okay so what is our condition here if the average is greater than 70 then uh, it will be and uh, display the grade is o otherwise a so this is our condition so that's why i click this so when i click this click this cell then appear the screen l3 okay so l3 means l column and third row so l3 greater than or equal to 70 okay comma then what happened which type of thing will be required so oh, otherwise otherwise so that means if the average is not greater than or equal to 70 then what displayed here yeah so simply you can use this and you can select the uh, table is also like this okay so you can simply click the border okay so next for example if i want to change another grade okay if i want to based upon another grade calculation so for example maybe here i'm considered if the average greater than or equal to 70 then press o okay so if average greater than or equal to 50 and average less than 60 then uh, sorry the average greater than or equal to 60 but less than 70 
so then maybe uh, appears the grade is for example a okay so next average greater than or equal to 50 and average less than 60 then appears the grade is b so average greater than or equal to okay sorry if average less than 50 then appears the grade is c so for example this is my condition and use the save button if i think this is the top of the left corner so otherwise you can save from here also click the file button and you can select this save okay if you are not giving any name so here it will be ask the name okay so here i'm using save option so now i try to use the if formula for two based upon three conditions what are they if average is greater than 70 then what if the average is greater than 60 then a if the average is greater than 50 but less than 60 then b otherwise c okay so now we try to see that so how i write the query so i will try to use the uh, less than here for example if so what is our condition this one and l l3 okay if l3 less than 50 then what will be displayed on the screen c okay otherwise again using another if so what is our condition l3 less than 60 then what will be displayed uh, sorry b okay so otherwise you can use another if l3 less than 70 if it is less than 70 then what will be display a otherwise o okay so we can close the how many number of ifs are open here three so these three are closed now i try to use like this okay in this type of way we are calculating the calculating the grades okay so and we can change the background also so for example maybe up to subjects so only for marks only for marks in one color okay for example this is the background so here i'm using this background okay for total i'm using another color for example so there is no need actually so if we want to display in another way okay if i want to display the average so for example here i'm using so this one okay for example if i'm using one grade is in one color and another grade is in another color so for example like this okay okay so in this type of way we can change everything and we can change the name for example so we can select this one okay and uh, here we are, we can uh, insert the uh, bar charts also for example maybe here we are consider the average is like this okay consider the average is like this and insert uh, here we can select uh, which type of charts you want for example columns so if i select this one so then it will be displayed like this so if you are observe here so the 10th person is having the highest so it will be giving the report okay i hope all of the members able to understood this okay thank you thank you one and all